Starting in 2017, LED bulbs such as this one have become more and more popular and it's pretty obvious these are going to take over the domestic lighting industry. Uh, and there's a lot of good reasons for that. They're more efficient than compact fluorescent bulbs. Uh, the price has dropped by a factor of four. And uh, what's nice is that because they don't have any glass, you don't have to worry about breaking them. As good as these bulbs are, there's still a couple of areas that could be improved. The base holds circuitry which converts the line house current into something the LEDs inside can use. Uh, these aren't perfectly efficient and if you uh, light one of these for a few minutes and you hold this base you can feel it gets quite warm. That heat is loss of efficiency. The other problem is that this globe-like diffuser here is necessary because if you look inside of one of these bulbs, take the globe off, you'll see that they uh, consist of a surface uh, with a bunch of surface mounted LEDs on them. Each one of these is like a little spotlight that shines light straight out. You need this diffuser so that you get a nice even illumination. And the problem is that this absorbs some of the light with the result that this gets a little warm too and that's another loss of uh, efficiency. Fortunately, there's a new guy on the block which can resolve both of these problems. The filament LED light bulb. A filament light bulb has, instead of a bunch of surface mounted LEDs on the base, it has these uh, yellowish looking rods. What these are are strings of almost microscopic LEDs. How these work is that each of these yellow rods are actually strings of 22 to 28 almost microscopic LEDs hooked in series and encoded with a layer of phosphor. Now the LEDs give off light in the ultraviolet range and the phosphor responds to that and glows quite brightly. This is the same idea as a black light making a, a phosphorescent paint or glow in the dark paint glows. In fact, I can even show you how it works. If I take a uh, fluorescent or black light flashlight, turn it on, and then shine it on those elements, you can see that it makes them glow. And the only difference is when you plug it in and turn it on, that uh, the ultraviolet light is coming from the inside. Now I'm predicting that filament LED bulbs like this are going to completely take over from these larger bulkier units. First of all, they can be made much more compact. Second, you get rid of the diffuser because these are emitting light in uh, 360 degrees around each rod and you have multiple rods, so the light's very uniform to begin with. You don't need to diffuse it. But one of the big reasons is that these are much, much simpler to make and can be made much more compact. I've zoomed in a little bit so you can see the details better. Let's look inside the structure of these things and see why I think the filament LEDs are destined to take over. If we take a Dremel tool and we cut the bases off, here's what we find. First, this is the inside of one of the uh, current dominant models of the LED bulb, uh, the surface mounted LEDs are right here. This is a slightly different configuration than the first one I showed you, but same idea. And this is the circuitry required to change the voltage and current from what you get out of your wall socket to something that these LEDs can use. It's quite extensive really. And another issue is that this base is actually a very thick aluminum cone, which is expensive uh, to make and difficult to assemble. Now let's look at how the much simpler and smaller the filament LED structure is. And that's it. All you have is really one capacitor and a very simple diode. And the reason you need so much less circuitry is that these things can be made to operate at the same voltage com as coming out of your wall so circuit. So you don't need as much circuitry to handle here. Another thing is, is this is much more efficient than this one. This doesn't get hot uh, or as hot as this one. And again, because you don't have a diffuser, 
you don't have diffusion losses because of the light has to pass through the diffuser. So these are simpler to make, require fewer components, and are going to lend them and be more efficient. So I'm predicting that these in the future, the filament LED bulb, is going to take over. Another thing that these have that these don't is the retro look. The filament LED technology which was originally designed to satisfy a need for retro or old-fashioned type um, incandescent bulbs and they do this quite well. The fact that in developing them for that market they're now finding that they work better than these for the general market. So these are becoming much more, more popular. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is a candelabra type base. You can get filament LED bulbs in any type of base like this as well. Another advantage is, is that you can make filament LED bulbs that are flexible to create spiral patterns and all sorts of crazy designs, which give them a novelty effect. These can be made depending on which phosphor is used to coat the LEDs in uh, almost any color you want. In fact, if we bring up the light again, well this one's glowing orangish. This is actually a uh, 5000K or daylight bulb. You can get them, they give off a pure green light. So, I hope you found this video interesting. And uh, if you're looking for new light bulbs, you might want to think about looking for some of these filament type LED bulbs. They're still a little bit more expensive than this, but uh, I think they're going to be cut the coming thing. Thanks for watching. For hundreds of more articles covering everything from how to make chocolate to the strange world of lucid dreaming, I hope you'll visit my main website, waynesthisandthat.com.